Hey everybody, Dr. It here, and we are back with more Fallout 4. Fahaba. We left off, we just killed a bunch of weird mire lurks and goddamn glowy fish things and gapers and goopers. And now we're going to explore the town of Far Harbor a little bit, see what we can find in here. That's of note. So first, there's the mariner, okay. Mariner. The mariner. My bad. I'm, I'm pretty big. I'm pretty big deal. The Mariner, shipwright, handyman, the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Lucky you're here. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. <laughs> okay, everyone here is kind of maybe a little bit of a bitch, but you know. Is. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. Like what? And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Oh, sure. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. I thought, I thought that she just needed money. I can, I can do money, but now you're, you're putting me on a road trip. All right, okay. I can deal with a little bit of a road trip. Is this a little shop, though? Hello, Brooks. Hey, I like your glasses. Welcome to the bait shop. You need any odds and ends. I'll have your odd in my end. What's your story, bro? Come on. Trying to make a few caps. Speaking of which, there's something shady about him. He's too straightforward. Okay. Do you have any weapons? <laughs> That's not a board. Oh, harpoon gun. I don't know if that'll be a rifle or a heavy weapon, but we're buying it. And we'll probably also pick up an ungodly, unnecessary large amount of ammo. Let's see, pick up a bunch of harpoons, some railway spikes while I'm here, and as far as the weapons are concerned, what do I even use here? You have some grenades, I'm not going to use them. Uh, last minute Tesla rifle, plasma sniper, overseer's guardian. Let's see, that uses .308. Do you have any 308, my friend? You have a few. Yeah, good enough. Thanks. Now we're over encumbered as all hell, but at least we can find out if this harpoon gun... I don't think it's a rifle, just this harpoon gun. It does a decent amount of damage, but... <sighs> Plus we gotta dump something. Ah. People are gonna hate this by mechanist armor. Sorry, I'm not gonna use you. It's not you, it's me being so lazy. We're just gonna dump all this garbage Not all of them it's like a few stealth boys and things that other people are going to be getting annoyed with and I'm so sorry and good enough we can carry a few more things sorry about littering everybody and you're in outside and not in a load screen how you doing Cassie That's okay, I'm a stand-up person. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot. Ooh, are we gonna look for the treasure? It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Hmm. I'd love to hear it. Sounds interesting. I'd I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. Thanks for the interesting story. Oh, your family, of course. You're the most powerful, interesting bitch and family out there, yeah. Even back before the war, mm -hmm. it was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. Oh, uh, God, of course. The island's, the island's been not for revenge, seeking blood for your family's misdeeds. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn a mysterious stranger that's me that's me by the way someone strong someone capable she's buttering my biscuit right now the last living dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all she's also crazy as shit i'm the stranger i'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family ah you're a quick one good You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, 
on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. Oh god, I feel like I'm just going to be taking revenge on her enemies. Freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles... He was also a little bit dumb, because that's how, not how freckles work. Not so yeah, for all the souls you've stealing. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls. The island did it. The island's the one that made the feral ghouls. Oh, God. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there. Waiting. No, it's fine. We'll clear the feral camp for you, girl. I'll avenge Petey. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good. It's long past time. There's definitely more to this story than what she's telling me there. Okay. And now we get to... Sorry, that dude is just creeping me out a little bit. Oh, shit! That's fucked up! Are they making... Are they boiling my... Like, living my... God. Oh, my God. Well, sorry, my Lurk Burrow. We're gonna go to the last plank though. And find Longbeard Mick uh something something or other dude bro man most exaggerated group of people things. Everyone. Everyone. What's up, Mitch? Trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths, open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all. Mitch, you sound drunk. You run the bar. You shouldn't be drunk. Yeah? No, th uh, something's wrong. Oh, come on! Yeah, I'm pushing my luck. Mitch, you're crazy. I don't like him. Not interested. Okay. Excuse me. What's your order, sweetie? Uh, not interested. Thanks. Well, he's crazy as all hell. So we are going to go and sneak upstairs and see if we can rob him blind. Oh, no, people are waking up. They don't like this. Is this his room? Earns the belly, but gets the job done. Okay. Yeah. It's just your generic in. Hey, There's no sense wasting your time down. here. Some of us are trying to fish here. Excellent. Islander's Almanac. You even like the point of interest map, Mark. Is it? Oh, thanks. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Yeah, what's up, old Longfella? You get your hands dirty. Hands are always dirty, Longfella. Last fella couldn't keep up. I'm tough. Some no -name mainlander. I'm oh, shots fired about his little island. You, you never make fun of a man's little island. You'll see inland make that look like a Sunday stroll. I help the harbor there we go. We're, we're just going to persuade our way to victory like usual. Yeah, that's what I thought, Longfellow. You ain't shit. You gotta listen to me. It's escort mission time where I'm gonna be following you. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like, and then the real work can begin. Let's go. I'm good. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. I feel like I'm pretty good on rad X and everything. Like I mean I say that, not checking in advance, but no no no, we mysterious serum. We're f Yeah, we're fine. Pop a red axe down just for the fun of it. Mmm, delicious. I just realized now we dry swallow these every time. That sounds god awful. Like, um, I can't do it. I just feel like there's a little pill whole size hole in my throat that just decides to gobble it up and just stick out until it dissolves and just feels shitty. But, you know, that's life. Thankfully, 
I'm privileged enough not to be on medication on a day to day. So at least you know what? I got that going for me. Is above the fog line of the it's a, bit of a little bit of a, a little bit of a jog. My alert tricky. Okay. There. You got a fair amount of ammo. Honk, honk. Ooh, the trap is ahead. We're fine. Don't worry about me, old Longfellow. I'm good. I wish the scope on that was a bit better, though. Of course, I missed him just at the very end. There, one down. Other one's darting away. So we're just going to be a little bit more cautious here. God damn, where'd that one was hitting me from? <laughs> Bye. Oh boy. There you go. Another one down. Still not much of a concern here. Come on, bud. You can do this. I believe in you. There we go. And take him in the shoulder. This gun is insanely good, by the way, so. I know. I'm pretty great. I'm sorry, did you kill any of them there, Longfellow? Like, actually? Come on. See the fog do a number on you. Get you all turned around. Does something to your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with, but now... There's a fog ghoul over there, apparently. Thanks, Vats. You spoil the surprise. But we're hidden right now, so I'm not too concerned yet. Like now. Like that shot should deal with the fog ghoul, how it differentiates between a regular ghoul. I'm not positive in all honesty. But you know. We might find out if we ever get one close enough to actually be of any concern. Pot shot there. Blow off his leg. We got another thirty kills in us, friend. I mean I appreciate the the concern, but we're fine. Sorry for talking to you. Just keep running. God forbid a guy, a girl tries to be a little bit social. You can walk and talk. It's what people have been doing for thousands of years. Rad X has worn off, but oh boy, dogs. Puppies! I'm sorry, puppies. Oh, I got a hit off. You know what? I do like puppies. Don't make me kill dogs. That's the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ways to go. I know, I know. No, we're not shooting old Longfellow game. God, no. If I see this thing, we're going out for blood. Okay, that's what Avery was saying. The fog was here earlier. Mm-hmm. So, it sounds like, to me, that it isn't the crazy atom worshippers here. But, I don't know. We'll find out more as we progress. Someone or something else here. It's a gulper. Or shoot it in the butt. Yeah, shoot it in the butt! Oh, yeah! Don't want to shoot it there. So we go for the head with a crit. Oh. Hello? Oh, it was fighting the gulper. Weird.
Oh god, this thing's moving much quicker than I thought it would be. One more shot in the head and it should be down, but I actually took a bullet. My alert's coming too. Ooh. Getting up in my business. Come on. Show me your head. Ugh. There we go. Problem solved. We are slowly dipping down in the ammo on one gun, so you know what? I'm I'm not concerned. We're doing good. Gulpers got a fondness for fresh water. Gulpers, I, I like how they look though. They're kind of creepy, but in a good way, in like a in a nice followed aesthetic -y way, so that's good. Yeah, that's because we kill all the small ones before they can be big ones. Ugh. Ghoul. Ghoul. Rip. Rip. Ooh, sneaky. Rip. There we go, we're good and good. And we're heading to uh, Arcadia. That was the uh, name of the synth city, I believe. Also, I just realized I never checked the map size itself. Is that all you can do? That's a. You know what? That's a decent sized map. It's not like super, super big, but you know what? It's a, it's a good size, especially if there's cave instance areas and buildings to discover and, you know, the usual dungeon crawly esque stuff. So as long as that's there, we're fine. Now, there's some Longfellow ahead of us still. There's this map marker. I don't know what it is, but. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, another crazy child of Adam. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. That's nice. How about faith shield you against those I like you, Longfellow. Oh, whoa, let's just settle down, okay? You're right, waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You, I suggest you go no further. Arcadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. You're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. You know you're crazy, right? Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam. I could kill all of you. You're done wasting time with a fanatic. Look. I don't care about what weird, crazy Adam people have to say. No fog. Arcadia is not too far now. Is uh, Arcadia like this building here? Like the map marker we're heading towards right now, the big one? I think it must be. Come on, old Longfellow, let's keep going. Yeah, it is. You know what? Not the nicest town. Thanks, old man. And we've arrived. Acadia's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. Thanks, Longfellow. I appreciate it. Again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> I like you, Longfellow. Not sure if you bring in a bottle of something I might bring you around sometime, but I feel like there might be a badass synth companion. Leaving already? Yeah, do you want to see what happens? See what happens next? You say that you want me to stick around and watch your back? Ah, screw it. Come on, you let's go. Come with me. I can still use yeah, we can use a buddy. We can use a pack rat. Why the hell not? Beats drinking alone. Yeah, it does. Let's go, Longfellow. Heads up. Now I'm gonna do that lovely thing where I go to my mods and smash this button really fast. Sorry for any clicking noises you guys are hearing right now. Just dumping my load on him and then go to junk because we don't have too much of that, but it's enough to flip around. Cool, thanks, bro. Thanks for the help. I'm glad you came. Let's go inside uh, Katie right now. Damn fog got in my lungs. Well, that sounds concerning. But now we're in Acadia. Hopefully we can find... Uh, Kasumi? That was her name, right? I think it was Kasumi. You just gotta think of Mass Effect, even though... Because that's the only other instance I've heard the name Kasumi, in all honesty, so... Huh, cool. You know... Oh Jesus Christ. I climbed this mountain above the fog. I thought to myself, 
Now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding. You have so many things sticking out of you. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I'm looking for Kasumi, bro. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a simp? I don't think it matters, really. Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything. Imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder, was I born with these? On, real talk, if I could get a cybernetic hand that was manufactured and super bitchin' in a goddamn She's second. the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a simp, not hiding. We don't know if she's a synth or not. This is so weird. One more question, if you'll indulge me. Yep. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Uh, you know what? How would I know? How would I even know? I'm afraid if you're looking for some biological test we can do, there isn't any. None that aren't fatal. Instead, you have to look for the signs, holes in someone's memory, feelings of unexplained isolation, odd dreams. But ultimately, you have to decide for yourself. No, I'm like, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm human. Have you ever questioned your humanity? No, I'm human. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory? This guy, okay, he's getting a little bit weird, but you know. Let's see, the day the bomb fell, I was with my family. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I was with my husband. We were getting ready for the day. That is concerning, though. This is actually my That's first memory. Me. Like, in game, yeah, it makes sense, Sean. but for her, Sean. you know, not really. And Nothing in the game pointed to me being a synth. But so. no memories before then? No childhood? Actually, yeah. He, no see, he's bringing up the same point I brought up. That's weird. Your first kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings? That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People. Places. Even sounds and colors. Yeah, this is a little bit weird, right? Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Whatever. You know what? Thanks. I appreciate it. Yeah. You haven't? I, I mean, I get where you're coming from. Thanks for taking the time, but you know. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. You didn't, you didn't tell me where Kasumi is, but you know what? I feel like I can ask that and we'll be fine. I'm Chase, and I'm sure you're eager to talk to Kasumi. She's usually working down below. Is there kind of wish I brought Nick Valentine here. That was an option, but you know. Are, are they all synths? Or they might be humans who think they're synths, but they're actually humans and... I'm in the Institute. Acadia, sure. Wait, you know what? You're all synths, sir. So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. 
You're from the Commonwealth, like Kasumi, yes? I'm sure you've had your own experiences with... I've killed a lot of you, and you know what? They're impressive, right? I've been impressed with the synths I've come across. That's good to hear. I, I hate to say it, I am in the minority. Assuming this is my better. Institute playthrough, yeah. the, most people just don't like you guys. No, <laughs> no, we're not hitting that one. Nothing else, we're I good. Get going. Of course. Perhaps you were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Don't worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. Chase, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, we have the option to help a lot of people out, but she's down deeper. Okay, we gotta we gotta find a way down. Down. How do we get down? Downstairs. That works for me. Ooh. Kasumi Nakano. Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. Oh, hey. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You. You're a what? She looks like I imagined. Came all this way for me. Look, my mom and dad. Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me. They wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Be because you're a synth. Let's just ask the truth. See what, what she means. I am not their daughter. I'm a synth. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Uh, is there any proof? Listen, What's the proof? Do you have any proof that you're actually a synth? Little things. Dreams of waking up in a lab. Years I can't remember from when I was a kid. Not to mention how I never quite fit in back at home. You see, here's the part where I feel like an asshole, but I kind of want to save Scum and just kill her. And if she has a synth part, we'll know. We'll know for sure. But you know what? You, you're not... Okay, there's a... You're just confused and there's you're not a replacement. I don't know. Maybe I just understand for now. Hello? I know. It must be hard for you. I just want to make sure you... Let's just be nice. Right we don't have to convince anyone of anything. So I believe I'm a synth, but there's something wrong here. Hmm. Acadia, there's more going on than just the refuge. I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've done I appreciate the hell out of her. She's driven as shit. Well, I'll, I'll offer to help her, though. On, and I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things. Track down answers. I don't know how you can help, detective. That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. That's sad. What secret? What Tell me. Happen? I'm really curious now. Come on. You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? That was weird. Memories or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And... You know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. The data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation. Hmm. Island. Plus, like, uh, I don't know, is this possible futures or? And welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us. A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Dima turning on Far Harbor? Oh, hey, Longfellow, I forgot you're here somewhere. Did, did you not trust you don't him? trust Dima? After you came all this way for him? I didn't come to Acadia for him. I came here because this place offered answers. And now that I've found a place I belong, I'd rather not lose it all if Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. We're going to help, I yeah. I can, but that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but... I haven't had much luck. Oh man, old Longfellow liked it. Yeah. He's heading to the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop. Locked up, you say? It's been locked up. 
I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. You know what? I'll improvise. I'll figure this out. Just stay here. Okay. Good luck, and come back as soon as you've found anything. All right, girl. we find out, I hope there's a way to make some caps out of this. <laughs> I appreciate you, Longfellow. That's good. But we are going to wrap it up here. This episode is going on for a little long. But then, thank you so much for watching. I'm probably going to be binging out the series in the next few days. Well, as quickly as I can. I don't know how long this content's going to be. But again, thank you so much for watching. Again, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you really want to see more. But for now, I am Dr. It, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now, everybody.